Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to see you on top of the week. And the big story is that the Congress has officially, openly started making a very aggressive push to make Rahul Gandhi the Prime Minister. In fact, we have an official declaration of that by none other than Ashok Gehlot, the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, who has said the following words. He says, the Congress party has decided to make Rahul Gandhi the prime ministerial candidate. Now he's also been echoed by another chief minister of the Congress, Mr. Bhupesh Baghel of Chhattisgarh, who has said, as a congressman, I feel that Rahul Gandhi and only Rahul Gandhi and only Rahul Gandhi should be the prime ministerial face. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been followed by the usual tsunami from the Congress leaders across the country, all demanding that Rahul Gandhi should be made the prime ministerial face. Viewers, the issue is very, very, very clear. The Congress party's intention in pushing for an I.N.D.I.A. Dot, 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 dot alliance is to make Rahul Gandhi the prime ministerial candidate. Opposition unity is only a means to get there. In fact, my reading of the situation is this, that even if opposition unity is lost, the Congress party will not lose an opportunity to try and make Rahul Gandhi the prime ministerial candidate. And this is the reason why for the last three months there's been this to and fro about who should be leading this opposition alliance. There is no doubt that Nitish Kumar wants to be the convener. There has been a whole forum which has started from Bihar to make Nitish Kumar the convener. In fact, it is for this reason that Nitish Kumar has given Bihar the backseat almost handed over reins of Bihar to Tejaswi and gone around the country trying to put people together so that he gets a head start to be the prime ministerial face. The irony for Nitish Kumar is both to be a prime ministerial face and to keep his government going in Bihar, he needs the Congress party support so he can at the most be a candidate by proxy. At the same time, Mamta Banerjee is very keenly watching this. Her own leaders are saying she's the one who's right to be the Prime Minister. And in the middle of all this, viewers, and these are the facts over the last 24 hours, the Aam Admi Party has realized the writing on the wall that this alliance is going nowhere and has openly and officially started a systematic push towards increasing its electoral tally and presence in Bihar. Bottom line is this. And I have to tell you this on a Monday evening. They may say what they want, but the reality is there is no opposition alliance. The opposition alliance and the determined push by some Lutheans channels to take away the dot between the alphabets of this alliance and make it look like the country itself is going absolutely nowhere. Now, whether making Rahul Gandhi the prime ministerial face is the best gift that the Congress party could have given the BJP in the run-up to 2024 is a question which has only one answer. Yes, yes, and yes, and yes, that's my first debate tonight.